So let's go to matching the magic wand here. Create history matching project. No HM history matching variables in the model. Do you want to add some variables? Yes, we do. So we can do, we can use several parameters to be a variable. Like the first thing is equilibrium. So if you think you are quite uncertain about the water oil contact, you can do, you can use water oil contact as a variable, okay? And the value is the starting point, is the value itself. So in this case, the water oil contact is located at the depth of 2395. So I will take on that. So WOC water oil contact will be regarded as variable. And I put minimum value. So let me check my exercise first. So for the water oil contact, let's start with 2394, 2395, 96. So I have one uncertainty of one meter, okay? Above base value and below base value. All right, and now go to relative permeabilities. You can be guided by show health diagram. Let me squeeze it. Yeah, just to refresh you about what KROLW, what KRWU. Okay. Again, it's resolution issue. I cannot see the full window. Okay. But I hope you already know. For water oil system as well as for gas oil system. Okay. Let me close it. Okay, so under relative permeability, there are many, many parameters that can be used as variables. But let's say I just want to concentrate on NOW and NW. Okay, so let me check again. All right, the first thing is NOW. Let me tick on this and click this one. Operation one plus by region, click this one for the setting. All right, so the best value, we have min value and max value. The operation is plus, okay? We also have multiply and set. The easiest is set, okay? What, that, what does it mean? So set, the best value of NOW is two. You can go to the previous uh, period of this in the same video. You can see that the original NOW is two. And you can use this as variable and you put minimum guest value to be 1.9 and the maximum to be 2.1. Okay. But you can also use plus best value zero. So it means the, the real best value, which is two plus as the operation plus zero, which will be two. And then for the minimum, the real value two plus negative 0 0.1. So it will be 1.9. And for the maximum, the real value is two plus 0 0.1, then it will be 2.1. Okay. And the same logic, multiply so the best value is one which means one multiplied by the real value which is two so two multiplied by one it is two and for the minimum two multiplied by 0 0.5 it will be one and for the maximum two multiplied by two it will be four and the same logic the same operation for the other parameters the other variables Okay, and we currently only have one region for the relative permeability. Okay, and I want to use set here. Okay, 
I'm just too lazy to, to calculate. So I just use base and the minimum to be one and the maximum to be five, like this. Okay, and then just click okay. And then I will use this also for uh, as a variable, click this one. And then this is for the curvature of the water relative permeability. And again, the set, so it will be 3.9, okay? We can go back to the previous peri period of time in this video. So the base value is 3.9, minimum, let's say one, and the maximum again, five. Click okay. So by the way, practically speaking, relative permeability is something that is usually be used as, you know, variable for history matching because yeah maybe you only have a limited core data limited relative permeability data so there is high degree of uncertainty in the relative permeability values okay so you use the relative permeability parameters especially n as variable okay yeah this will be very much useful if you want to get a good matching for water cut. Okay, for multi-phase case, oil, water. So hopefully you can get better match for water cut or for water production rate by adjusting the relative permeability. You can also do multiply permeability by region. And as you can see, we only have one regionization, which is by FIPNAM. We have four FIPNAMs area. And let's say we want to use all those FIPNAMs as variables. Okay, so yeah, maybe in some wells, we cannot reach a good matching for the liquid production rate. That's why we need to adjust the permeability in each FIPNAM, so the minimum 0 0.1, maximum 10, okay? And multiply permeability by layers if you have layering, okay? And adjust the in anisotropy, KVKH. Yes, please. And let's say for the KVKH, let me think about it, it's from 0 0.01, 1%, up to, for example, 0 0.5. Sorry. Yeah. Please note, this scenario is only for isotropic models. Permeability in Y and Z directions will be computed by that of X direction, okay? So by isotropic here is that X and Y is the same, okay? So that you can calculate the KV or the KZ by relating it with the horizontal, either X or Y. Some people use transmissibility as variables if they want to secure the permeability so they have another degree of freedom by adjusting on transmissibility rather than permeability. Modify scale arrays, but it's I think it's quite quite complicated, and you need to have good justification if you want to do scale array. It's kind of limited the variables that we can have, but actually you can use other parameters, many other parameters as variables, including yeah, skin, including rate even, including the depth of perforation. But for that, you need to do that on the script itself. You need keyword, you need to do the coding using the script rather than using the interface. But hopefully, God willing, we will do that in another day, okay? So, I think pretty much that for the preparation.
you can use your own values and now we can click on this button create history matching project all right so now we will create a project file 